With armed presence once again firmly rooted on Thalassian, the commander began dispatching scouting teams in search of further objectives. They were successful. A squad of PT boats discovered energy patterns matching those of the core galactic gate emanating from one of the northern islands. The island was heavily guarded. It would not be taken easily. All right, welcome back to episode six of our Total Annihilation Arm campaign Let's Play. Let's go ahead and jump in here. All right. And we start paused. It is interesting, I feel like some games we start paused and some we don't. What's, uh, what's the wind speed here? Plus 12, that's pretty good. I like how we have, like, squads that, like, how did they get there without discovering uh, the area in between? What a mystery this is. But, we'll go ahead and uh, start figuring out how we want to deploy our forces. We've got a shipyard, we've already got three submarines. A destroyer, I think we're going to probably be facing pretty stiff resistance. Um, but yeah, our goal on this mission, we're going to capture the next Galactic Gate. It's interesting, I think I started to talk about it on the Empyrean Gate mission, um, but I never finished my thought, I don't think, is that the way Galactic Gates work, work in Total Annihilation is sort of funny in that they appear to be point to point, like you need to link a gate to another gate. Subcom made it, say, like they made it make a little more sense where they, um... The whole idea of, like, the commander, the reason why the commander unit was special and important was it was, like, or, and why it was expensive, too, is that it could, um, and I still can't build aircraft, so I think we'll get a couple of construction boats here. Uh, let's figure out if there's other metal on some of these islands. Okay, we got a scout plane. Killed it. Beautiful. Did the... Did this thing just seriously, the rangers tried to launch a, like, one of the long-range missiles at the scout plane, I'm thinking. Oh, there's a geothermal over here, so that's cool. Can we build the, oh, we can build the Hulk, finally, which is our sea transport, so we could build, I am gonna build, um, I'm trying to think of what units would be most, like, effective in an amphibious invasion. I'm thinking... If we do K-Bot into Advanced K-Bot, if we we could try and actually do a proper amphibious invasion, could be kind of fun. Um, but it would also be useful just to get a uh, construct because that's a small area to build a factory. So if we get a K-Bot lab up, get a couple of K-Bots. Actually, you go down here. See what the tidal speed is. I'm assuming it's pretty good. If we get a couple of K-Bots over there. But, like, with uh, Supreme Commander, right, the whole idea is that you can just, like, teleport the Commander through and he just arrives in a location on the other side, not necessarily, like, on another gate. He just kind of pops out in the middle of a field, and that's why you start the match with, like, the big, you know, explosion. It's actually him arriving from the Galactic Gate Transport or whatever. In Total Annihilation, the fact that we sort of have a, uh, a system where... I'm gonna have the commander stop assisting because it's taking a lot of energy. Where you, uh, you know, you seem to go directly from one gate to the other, you know, instead of like appearing in a field, so to speak. Oh, there's a submarine. Let's, uh, we've got some of our own to deal with that. Let's try and save our surface combatants if we can. I mean, the destroyers capable, obviously, of engaging in anti-submarine warfare, but we definitely want to... Oh, crud, speaking of submarines. Okay. We lost one of our lurkers, unfortunately. We're gonna kill both of these snakes. Very good. Let's uh, repair our damaged lurker. 
Um, commander, there's not any other metal except for up there. I'm trying to think of where we can continue our uh, pushing our objectives. Um, commander, how about you build us a sonar station because we don't have one of those yet. Let's just plop that down. And then I'm going to have this guy reclaim. Well, actually no, because some hammers would actually be like a decent contribution to an invasion force. I'm trying to think if our economy is going to end up basically just being... Um, my, our economy might basically end up being metal makers again. But that's okay. What are we getting? Plus 41. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's uh, let's get some more energy production up, and then we can switch to metal makers. And I don't know if we have floating metal makers. No. I think they might be core contingency as well, unfortunately. So let's, let's get the commander over here. And we can start clearing out the forest a little bit. You keep uh, repairing the fleet. Let's scout out and find out what's here. Like I said, the cool thing about me not playing these for so long, and there's another submarine, unfortunately. Oh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of enemy stuff up here. All right, very cool. Cool and good. Um, the the neat thing about me not playing most of these uh, missions and so long is that I genuinely don't really know what to expect on a lot of them. It looks like we might have, yeah. The, Let's see if we can, maybe we'll be able to catch him off guard next time if they venture back down here again. Let's repair our stuff. Commander, you have arrived. Uh, let's get some metal makers if we can. There's one. And start reclaiming the forest, I guess, so we actually have room. Uh, and then a hulk is what we wanted. And probably we'll uh, start the Skeeter spam. Let's make room for the uh, advanced Kavot lab, which we'll hopefully be building eventually. <clears throat> okay, there's another geothermal vent on that island as well. So we have lots of energy sources between good tidal multiple geothermal plants that we can build so we we shouldn't want for energy so that's good so many trees though to reclaim I feel bad that we're already running a surplus um, on energy but what you gonna do really oh this lurker must have killed the submarine I'm thinking so Construction ship. Continue your repair duties. It's interesting. It seems like when the submarines kill each other, they don't really leave wreckage. Which is interesting. The only one that died was the one I think that got killed by the depth charge on the Crusader. Or the only one that left wreckage there. So, Because like ours didn't even leave wreckage. Our one submarine that died to an enemy submarine. So that's kind of interesting. The submarines are... I do feel like they're a bit uh, fragile for their metal cost, but I mean, they are, they're like a situational unit, I guess is the point of them. 
But we'll probably get some conquerors going as well. I think those will be good for dealing with the uh, the various torpedo boats that have been haunting us. Or not torpedo boats. The torpedo platforms. I think it'll be good for those. Alright, the Hulk is nearing completion. And then he can smash, right? That's what Hulks like to do, I think. Get another sonar up over here for coverage. Um, we have very healthy energy income at the moment. Let's bring him back, because he's... We don't want a construction ship as our first line of defense, necessarily. Yeah, the enemy's definitely got some, uh... I think, yeah, they must just be patrolling with lurkers, basically. So let's go ahead and start on our advanced platform. Oh, this guy would be decent if that is the torpedo platform. Yeah, he can attack from that range. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's see if we can snipe their torpedo launchers a little bit. I do like the animation, as basic as it is on the missile ships. You know, the whole raising up and then firing and all that good stuff. Commander. I was really tempted just to, like, degun some of these, if I'm being honest, but I won't do it. I won't degun the poor trees. I'll at least let their energy serve a higher purpose. Oh, that's... So, the torpedo platform can apparently take a lot of hits. I'm assuming that's what that is. Because I feel like if it was a ship, it would, uh... Be making its presence known. It would start heading towards us. And returning fire, more than likely. Okay, is the Hulk... Yes, the Hulk's done. Cool. Alright, so let's get the Hulk... Moving... Down here. Get some of the other ships... Out of the way for it. Oh, oh dear. Speaking of, uh, submarines... Oh, that's, a <clears throat> advanced submarine. Okay, that's why I was able to just clear out our regular subs. It's kind of a bummer, though. But at least we can reclaim its yummy metal. We should be able to get advanced subs of our own. I'm going to cancel Skeeter production briefly. We've got... Those were just fighters. And then the same with the hammers, I think. We'll just pause that for a minute. And then... How about we load... Something's on fire. Oh, somehow a missile must have ignited over there, I guess. And continue Operation Treatum, Enduring Treatum. It is a bit clunky, the whole loading and unloading system. It is kind of cool, though, how it actually has, like, an arm, like a physical arm that moves around and does the loading and unloading. And then we can, uh, get this geothermal, get this geothermal plant online, hopefully, as soon as the commander finishes, uh, the deforestation. We're almost done with our advanced lab as well, so that'll 
also be a significant help. Let's uh, set your movement point over here. See if we can kill this one tree. There we go. Why reclaim the tree when you can blow it up with mobile artillery? Alright. So it's kind of funny. The, on the metal planets, you can often figure out a way to get two geothermals, or uh, four actually geothermals on the vent, but on uh, regular planets you have to be content to only get one on there. Alright, we're done with our advanced facility, let's get an advanced bot up, um, and then we'll probably make Fido's would be a good invasion unit, I'm thinking, if we're gonna go with the Hulk approach. Um, and we can do, we still can't build our advanced construction ships, but we can do Conquerors, Rangers, we can do a Millennium, and of course Piranha. The enemy does seem to have a fair amount of submarines, so I kind of want to get a couple Piranhas up. Because I think that'll help us deal with that. And uh, our project to colonize this little island is coming along quite nicely. Down in the bottom corner, so once uh, the commander... I, I'll probably have him make a fair number of additional metal makers down here and then some turrets I think so we're not totally defenseless uh, that the turrets will mostly be the job of the bot of course because the commander doesn't have the capability to make missile towers let's see can we put down so now we can put down a few more Metal makers. To make sure we can actually fit everything that we want to fit on here. <laughs> it's a relatively tidy island. I might uh, put some of the metal makers back on the other island as well. But our eco is definitely a lot stronger than it once was. So that's good. Okay, we've successfully killed another wave of fighters. and our Oh, our piranha is basically done. Nice. So we'll have an easier time dealing with submarines in the future. I wonder if our ranger can snipe whatever that is. Hopefully not trigger some unwanted uh, thing, but it'll be okay even if it does. I think we've got enough of a force now to deal with a decent amount of uh, hostility. Don't want him to actually head over there, though. Just stay at long range, please. Thank you. <clears throat> and let's, like I said, we'll get a few more piranhas, and then probably conquerors be our best bet. I think that's enough on this island. We could probably send the commander, or maybe once he's done with his sentinel here. Once they're done with the sentinel, we'll probably have the Hulk take this guy up here and colonize that. Okay, we got some incoming contacts. There's a good chance that's a piranha, or not a piranha, um, an enemy submarine, probably.
I'm not sure. Oh, well, that's a... That's a destroyer, though, that's for sure. It's a lot of destroyers. Where'd the commander go? There he is, okay. Do find ourselves in a bit of a pickle. We'll have to rebuild quickly, I think. Uh, and unfortunately, I know there's a submarine out here somewhere. <clears throat> but we'll get our uh, get our economy rebuilt in short order. Looks like that enemy submarine must have moved off, so that's good. We can uh, recapture some of this metal. And get back to building. Finally claim this metal deposit up here. And if we could place this defender, somewhere right around there will work. And then uh, can start getting rid of some of these dead trees and make room for hopefully more defenses of various types. We got a squadron of aircraft incoming. At least all the enemy air attacks are pretty ineffective for the most part. So I guess we've got that going for us.
So yeah, sorry I'm like blanking out a lot here. I'm just like, you know, the fun thing about these old missions is that they're genuinely kind of challenging um, in a way that a lot of newer missions and a lot of newer games aren't as much. So I mean, we haven't technically lost one yet, so that's good. But like, we're definitely uh, we've been on the edge of our seat pretty much the whole time. Now this is hard difficulty, so you'd expect it to at least be you know semi-challenging, but I feel like a lot of games nowadays are very, you know, they hold your hand a little bit to the point where it's not always the most fun even. We'll go ahead and turn these back on now that our energy economy should basically be close to supporting it anyway. Re reclaim that, and then let's get a few more titles. We do have uh, the opportunity to claim that thermal vent as well. It can be a little bit more challenging. The enemy still seems to be patrolling around with some sort of submarine or something. want a couple more construction ships and then I'm not sure if we should do lurkers I'm thinking conquerors would be a good option um, and then of course we uh, probably want another Hulk or two if we're gonna try the invasion route what else can you build I mean we could do a moho mine they're almost just not worth it, is the only problem. So we'd be getting a 6 metal instead of 2, and it cost 1500 as our startup investment. So really, it's, it's just kind of hard to justify. Oh, we've got crocs coming in now. How exciting. I don't think they're going to make it to the shore with our piranhas on the loose. And even if they do, we actually do have a healthy enough land force that I'm thinking we can deal with them. Gonna, I think we're going to get some veterancy on our piranhas just based off of these crocs, which is kind of fun. And of course we have lots of metal to reclaim from them now. But yeah, I actually feel like fairly engaged. I'm aware that uh, TA is a slower paced game, but I think that's more a symptom of its age than anything else back when people were patient. <laughs> Let's get another sonar. S oh, here's another croc. We have another chain of them coming in along the side of the map. Or is it just this one? Kind of wonder if we can. Um, how quickly can we reclaim it? It'll probably get out of range before we finish, but we can at least take some damage off it. Alright. We have four piranhas now. So we're in a much better position as far as uh, any sort of enemy action in terms of submarine warfare.
I'm thinking I'll put up another defender here. And then probably a guardian. Once we reclaim a few more trees to make a spot for it. Forces are becoming more and more impressive, so I'm thinking we can mount an attack soon. And our first cruiser just came off the line. I'm not sure if we really need a guardian up here. Um, we've got the... Now that we have a Conqueror, I guess I should probably just use the Conqueror and the Ranger to snipe whatever we can. I can't remember what the veterancy stat does in this game. I know it, it does do something. It's not just like, a, you know, bragging rights or something. Like, it, it does actually improve the unit uh, in some way. I just don't remember how. <laughs> uh, I think it's like slightly more health and slightly more damage. Commander, how about you get up on the island, considering we've got a... Uh, Incoming enemy submarines. Oh, that's a warlord. Warlord's coming to bring me yummy metal. That's what we like to see. And the missile frigates just kind of annihilating themselves, I guess. So that they don't bring me as much yummy metal. <laughs> oh well. Oh, piranhas, you're up. That appears to be some submarines. If you can wake your way up there. We actually need to build metal storage just to take advantage of the uh, Warlord, because if we reclaimed it now, we would actually waste a tremendous amount of the metal. probably not a fight that you can win, but at least you can acquire it for the, uh, yeah, Conquerors. There we go, so we just, a little bit of micro and we can dodge around a bit. You can, uh, repair this shipyard, and probably repair that piranha, and then 
you can reclaim the wreckage of the warlord once the K-Bot has built our second storage facility. Um, how many hulks have we got? Just, just the uh, two. So let's get one more hulk. And then, just for the fun... Uh, part of me wants to build the Millennium just for the fun of it. But the other part of me knows that it's not worth it. <laughs> we got three conquerors now. That's pretty good. We're, and the fourth one is well underway. Alright. Bring this cave up back. Uh, put him over here. See if we can get that other geothermal under our control. Even though we are doing rather well economically, I'd say, at the at this point. But, uh, I, I kind of, again, I just want to do the invasion. Just for fun. I don't even remember what the capacity of the Hulk is. And it doesn't even, like, tell you, really, in the, uh, you know, in the screen. So now that we've dropped him off... Let's go ahead and bring this Hulk back. Cue up some reclamations there. Okay, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. Because I have a feeling we'll probably lose at least one Hulk uh, before we hit the beach with them. Okay, so we've got the Piranha repaired now. And we can repair the... Or not repair, reclaim the Warlord. So we've got <clears throat> two hulks, each with like a decent little platoon of units in them. About to get a lot of wreckage uh, from the Warlord. I keep wanting to say Warlord Titan, because I am th keep thinking of the, uh, you know, Warhammer 40k unit. But not a Warlord Titan, it's a Warlord Battleship. I mean, it's still a very effective unit, but not quite that effective. <laughs> I guess a Warlord Titan could almost be considered a naval unit as well, because it probably just, like, can wade through most, uh, most water relatively effectively. So many trees to reclaim. Oh, and there's a metal spot even on this island. I didn't even see that. So many darn trees. It's hard to actually see everything that there is to see. Commander, all the trees here are dead, so you might as well reclaim them too, even though it serves very little purpose. We could always use that as an additional metal maker island, I suppose. And we're actually capping out on resources, so why in the heck not? We'll build a Millennium, even though I suspect it'll be pretty much useless. Some more Skeeters could be nice just for the anti-air capability they provide. This is the Empty Hulk, I'm thinking. Let's uh, scout a little with a Piranha and see if we can find anything worth... Uh, scout out our invasion route. I don't want to do Shoot All this mission because our goal is to capture the galactic gate and unfortunately our units will shoot the galactic gate if they uh you know are left to their own devices what did we find oh a bunch of core land units 
That's pretty funny. Just like packed into the corner there, I guess. Into the corner. Oh, I cracked myself up. Oh. That does not crack me up though. So there appears to be some pretty heavy weaponry in place on the island. Let's uh you know the drill skeeters. Use your bodies as meat shields for our important ships. Okay, we got multiple gats. There's another gat. I'm thinking we're going to need a fair number of additional Skeeters before this is all over with. And now that we've uh, cleared the way, essentially, we can uh, send in the invasion force. I think doing a landing under fire of the uh, gats, we literally wouldn't have even probably made it with one transport. Honestly, the amount of enemies that were there is substantial, so. so now that we've got that Fido. Oh, yeah. Hulk has very low health, unfortunately, so yeah. So that was cool. Just a lot of dead units, basically. Aw, oh, they're gonna try and try and snipe my Millennium before it's even done. Quite lame. Quite lame of you. Game. Let's see if we can get this one in, at least. I'm not so sure about it, but we can try. I feel like the Hulk really needs higher health if you actually want to successfully invade anything. Landed. We've managed to get one Fido. Two Fidos. Alright, that's it. Two Fidos on the beach. So we will need a fair bit more units, unfortunately. We can at least keep bombarding with our uh, Ranger. Oh, the Millennium is done. Very good. This is the commander over here. Maybe make us a couple more metal makers and then bid his farewell to this particular island. Yeah, the invasion idea was fun, but unfortunately not the most effective in the world.
repair the Millennium. At least the battleship can add its uh, firepower to the bombardment now. I'm thinking we gotta take out the factory is really the key here because if we if we don't they're just gonna keep producing more and more units. Alright. Yeah, guns taken out. Factory's gone. Very good. These two conquerors should be enough to get that piranha. And we got a third conqueror now, anyway. And a lot more skeeters. Enemy uh, air threats are no longer of immense concern. Forgot about our piranhas over here. Should actually be able to get the geothermal up now now that we've successfully cleared the area so let's go ahead and oh that is such a troll really you give me a geothermal spot but there's no actual like valid way to place it well I'm just I'm very disappointed cave dog that's upsetting I'm thinking there's a warlord. I'm pretty sure that's what that's from. Unless there's another gat somewhere. I'm thinking it is a... Uh... Yeah, we've got one warlord and a couple destroyers by the looks of things, too. Let's get a couple more conquerors out. Can at least get this metal spot, I suppose. And then, I guess, like, some more defenders for the next time the enemy comes in with an air raid. thinking the enemy's warlord is going to go down pretty quickly. Yep. The Millennium, I think, actually has more health than the warlord, I'm pretty sure. Um, even though it's... The fact that the warlord has the gat turret is super, super powerful. Um, because it's much better at hitting, you know, moving targets. But the warlord... But the uh, Millennium... Its bombardment strength is very good. So it does have that going for it. Speaking of bombardment... Let's go ahead and uh, continue it. So that must have been the enemy's uh, coastal battery there. Bring the piranhas over to guard the commander. That would be unfortunate if he got uh, assassinated by a random submarine. Be very upset at this point in the mission. I 
do want to get another Hulk up, not because I consider it to be particularly useful uh, for invasion anymore. I was misremembering, I guess. I thought, I was hoping that we could actually land more troops than that, but it was was a bit of a disappointment. Oh well, what you gonna do? At least we've kind of cleared out this first core island. Uh, let's repair our conqueror here. Once this Hulk is up, we'll probably use it to bring this bot back over here so we can repair that. Commander will focus on just, uh, I think we'll use him to continue reclaiming resources. Okay, the Millennium is done being repaired. This Conqueror is at full health, so let's send him up. Got another Conqueror ready down here. Got a pretty healthy Skeeter fleet. See what trouble we can get into. Chewing our way through the enemy fleet here. And the enemy's uh, torpedo launchers, I guess, more accurately. Oh. Another Gat Cannon is down. Must be another Warlord over. Yep, right up here. Let's see if we can kill the shipyard. A bit of bombarding. So, I mean, the Millenniums are Millennium is doing work. He's got 14 kills under his belt. Got the Conqueror back up to full health now. Let's do another Millennium, and then probably a few Conquerors. Switch over to destroyer production. Commander can start to reclaim. Alright, we got that Warlord. Oh, our metal is filling up, so I'm gonna... Pause that for now. Let's get a few more Skeeters. It's a little hard for our uh, production to seemingly keep up with. How quickly we consume Skeeters, unfortunately. Join the armed navy. You might not instantly die. No guarantees. Hard to say, really. A 
Okay, we got aircraft. So let's get these guys back. Back under the cover of the Skeeters so they don't slowly get chipped away. We have the beautiful pathfinding of Total Annihilation. Want to save the Millennium if we can. So let's go grab. Let's go grab the um, advanced construction bot. We can build a radar station on our uh, more forward island. Let's build another metal storage real quick. Alright, Commander, what's left here? A metal maker? Okay. Alright, we were able to kill that warlord shortly before he killed the Conqueror, so that's good. See if this uh, force over here can push up a little bit. We'll grab the uh, regular construction K bot while we're in the area. towers, I was going to say. We are making good progress, I would say, towards our objective. Slowly but surely grinding them down. And now we have two Millenniums. Did a submarine... It must have been an aircraft. I was going to say, did a submarine somehow manage to like, slip all the way through to our shipyards? Or why was one under attack? Okay, kill the Gat turret. If you can. Heavy tanks, even. Look at that. Lots and lots of defenses.
Let's uh, move our piranhas over this way because we do clearly have some evidence of uh, enemy submarine activity. And I would hate to lose our millenniums to submarines, of all things. Um, we should have more conquerors by now, right? Yeah, there we go. More conquerors and more destroyers. Let's bring them up. got the snakes out of the way. Our naval units are doing a pretty good job of, um, you know, killing the enemy on land. Let's see if we can find any more defenses that we need to eliminate. Yeah, well clearly there must be another submarine somewhere. So we got this advanced radar tower up so we can basically see everything now. The Indian must not have much left. I mean, there's probably, uh... So, they could have submarines, obviously, still, because the radar wouldn't show that, but I'm thinking in terms of surface combatants, we have about eliminated them. Another gat turret bites the dust. Oh. Let's uh, fall back with Commander a little bit. We'll give him just a few meat shields to help out with his uh, attack. Send it up. Commander, try and reclaim this warlord wreckage in the meantime. What else can we find? Our very low health conquerors. You guys try and stay further away. Let the full health ones, or the closer to full health ones. So there's a gat turret up there somewhere. Not too close to the coast, though, clearly. And again, I don't want to accidentally kill the Galactic Gate is the only thing. 
would be irritating. We got a nice little cruiser fleet. We got uh, some battleships over on this side. So we have lots of fire support for the upcoming invasion. So now we will be putting the Hulk to decent use, hopefully. As we get a lot of metal from that. Uh, more cruisers and a lot of scout boats. You guys can hang out up there. And there's our Fido's coming out. I believe that's everything in this transport, so... Four Fido's and the Commander. I think that'll probably be enough to take out this, uh, whatever's left on the island here. With a precision application of, uh, D-Gun. Again, just... really want to avoid the galactic gate. That's all. And there we go. The enemy forces are uh, no more. And once the gate is ours, we shall be on to the next planet. It's kind of funny. You guys are watching this, if anyone is watching this. Um, we're recording, this is episode 6, I think, of Total Annihilation. And as of right now, I think the last three episodes of Planetary Annihilation haven't even been uh, released yet. I've got a lot of videos sort of in the pipe, all scheduled to release every two days on YouTube. So we're pretty far out in advance. Uh, on this one, so... But here we are, after a long, bloody struggle, the commander has successfully reached the Galactic Gate. We've got quite the navy here, look at... But multiple battleships, large number of cruisers... We did good, and uh, victory is now ours. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Total Annihilation's Arm... Arm... Campaign Mission 8? I think that was Mission 8. Uh... Yeah, that was mission eight. So, all right. See you next time.